hello and welcome to my channel this is the nomadic goddess and i am jasmine this is going to be a general bi-weekly reading for the sign of cancers or cancer <laughs> for the weeks of february 6th to february 20th now you don't just have to be a cancer sun you could be a cancer sun moon rising venus and or mercury just because I said it's for the weeks of February 6th to February 20th does not mean it is solely for that time. It is for whenever you are guided to my channel and decide to hit play. Because this is a general reading, you shouldn't take everything with you. If the shoe fits, lace it up, find the matching pair, and travel well. If it does not fit, leave it. There's no need to carry messages that do not ring true for you. I am clear audience. That means that source, whether you want to call it the divine, the universe, God, source, along with your higher self, your guides, and your ancestors that are for your highest good, they send me messages via songs, parts of movies, and books. Now, with the songs, they do get stuck in my head, and I do sing them. Downside to that is I cannot sing. <clears throat> so, if you can bear through the horrible singing, and I hope you enjoy, discover something new about yourself, and don't be afraid to dive deep. Also, I will not DM you, email you, um, IG you, Facebook you, TikTok you, offering readings. If you would like a reading, my link to my website is in the description box below. Now, with that being said, let's get started. All right, the messages. Do we have what cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury for the weeks of February 6th to. February 20th, what messages do we have for Cancers? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. All right, what messages do we have for Cancers? I'm in love with the store. Ah! What you want? Baby, I got it. What you need? do we have for cancers <clears throat> ego vulture ego a lot of air energy hmm. oh and some of you are demanding your respect hearing you are taking back your respect or taking your respect for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. The weeks of February 6th to February 20th. What message do we have for Cancers? Ah, too many at a time. One at a time, Spirit, one at a time. Message do we have for cancers? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mercury. Ooh, butterfly. Nope. 
octopus. Message do we have for Cancer's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Mercury for the week of February 6th to February 20th. Messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. <clears throat> Messages do we have for Cancers. for cancers. <laughs> you need an orgasm, all right? Back check. Dead end. Ask for more, you deserve it. Messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, and Cestus, please. Okay, some of you may have Libra or Gemini in your chart. Um, you, you guys are getting some of the similar cards that they have. <clears throat> Messages do you have for Cancer, your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury. Oh, shut up and listen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, what messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury for the weeks of February? 5th of February 6th to February 20th. Oh my goodness. You know what? I just want to see. I just want to see something. Eh. Yeah. Some of you may want to take a peek at Gemini and or Libra's reading. If you feel so inclined to. <clears throat> what messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury? What messages do we have for Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury for the weeks of February 6th to February 20th? What messages do we have? for console. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about sex. What messages do we have for cancers? Ooh. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. All right. What messages do we have for Cancer, your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury for weeks of February 6th to February 20th? Full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. And oh, thank you. Full moon in Taurus. 
your dreams need a practical plan all right cancers so with the firefly energy i firefly energy is always going to be my very very powerful but very very fleeting um burst of inspiration so with the firefly card whenever you feel it whenever you have this urge to just create especially if you're a writer you get like this need to write and like it starts flowing and the moment you don't catch it it's gone um that's my firefly card uh so what i tend to do is i tend to carry notebooks with me or because i have an iphone um i have my notes <laughs> in my phone and so i can just quickly type up whatever i'm type whatever i need to release or whatever i'm creating whatever poem i'm creating or whatever chapter of a book i'm creating and then um once that burst of inspiration is gone i'm good um what i what i realized is whenever i feel that burst to create a book or create poems or just to create in general i do it and the i realize whenever i tap into that energy consistently the longer that burst of inspiration lasts so the moment i tap into it it could be it went from being anywhere from like 30 minutes to 45 minutes and then leaving to like now i can tap into it and it'll last me an hour two hours three hours sometimes all day um it just depends on if i'm able to tap into it quickly enough to get what i get and what i also realized is <laughs> that's a form of my higher self getting out things or getting out messages and downloads that i need to hear especially if you're right especially if you're a writer like if you write books or poems i've realized that um writing is a form of meditation for me so it's also kind of a form of a, a form the it's also a way for me to channel so uh, whenever you feel those bursts even if you're driving like carry a notebook in the car that way you could just pull over if you can or park your car if you can and just start writing just write just write now with the vulture card I think the when I see the vulture card, it's always like the, the need to bring in balance. Like it's like a vultures because vultures in the animal kingdom are my balance keepers. They keep the ecosystem in check. It's also a reminder that what you thought was a mistake or a tragedy is literally a blessing in disguise. The eagle card is going to be my gaining a higher perspective card. And I want to say the eagle card is the last card in this deck of the air signs. And it's the all pervading. It's like the truth seeker, but it also transform, transforms karma. Now, I will say this, Cancer. Um... everybody has a different truth and i'm feeling like i'm feeling the need to say this everybody has a different truth your truth is going to be different than your partners or your children's or your families the truth is going to be different so allow those people to have their truth without diminishing them i also feel like that's where the shut up and listen card is coming from it's just, just like you just want to talk 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 and i get it especially for those of you who are just starting to speak up for yourself and to activate your throat chakra um but another part of listening or sorry another part of speaking up is listening because there's a balance so just because you just started tapping into your voice and started using your voice you also want to remember to also listen 
and to not do unto others what was done to you okay now with the golden egg every time i see the golden egg card i hear i got a golden ticket because i got a golden ticket because i got a golden ticket it's from the willy wonka movie now the golden ticket is basically a message at the center of your heart so there's this truth your truth that you're seeking and that you're finding and it needs to be put i'm hearing that it needs to be put on pen and paper so you can share it with the world also with the oyster card I feel like it's clams that make pearls, but they're giving me this. I'm like, I'm seeing like this clam that's being opened up and I feel like whatever truth that you're putting down on paper, it's going to be your pearl, but you need to open yourself up for that. I'm also being drawn to like the many layers of the oyster shell. And it's kind of sort of, they're kind of sort of telling me that you guys need to peel back the layers of yourself to uncover, to, to uncover this golden egg. You guys need to peel back the layers of the hurt, of the pain, of the trauma, of the tragedy, of the trauma. You guys need to peel all of that back, get to the source. Because what I'm seeing is, I'm literally seeing the oyster egg and the golden, I'm sorry, the oyster egg. I'm literally seeing the oyster card and the golden egg card combine. And so like when the oyster card is opening, like when the oyster is opening up, there is the golden egg. I feel like um, a lot of you are in the midst of transformation or in the midst of, um, as I like to call it, uh, you're breaking out of the chrysalis, your wings, yeah, like you've extended your wings so they can begin to dry. And so you can get ready for your very first flight. This is also, I'm also hearing that, uh, congratulations, you've passed the test. So for those of you who are listening, if that resonates with you, amazing congratulations um i also feel like for those of you who who that was meant for it's like your graduation uh i'm hearing like it's like your graduation day with the octopus card the octopus card is my scatterbrain card also a card that lacks, um, octopus energy is also an energy that lacks boundaries. So some of you may be needing to set boundaries with yourself. So therefore you can learn how to set boundaries with others. Uh, the, you need an orgasm card. I, that is self explanatory. Some of you are. I'm hearing some of you are too high on your high horse and you just need to, like you're so stressed, you're so high strung. Um, okay, that is very descriptive. <laughs> if you have a pink toy, um, use it, I'm hearing. It's like a, a hot pink toy, hot pink uh, vibrator yeah um you may want to change the batteries or charge it up and put that thing to use and that's your key back check make sure <clears throat> i'm hearing make sure you cross your t's and dot your i's make sure everything is in order Uh, with the dead end card, I'm hearing going, 
going the wrong way on the dead end street or going one way yeah going the wrong way on a dead end street I feel like it's pertaining to some of you who are allowing your family and your friends to push you in a direction that is not meant for you, is not for your highest good, isn't going to fulfill your authentic self. Or that's what, okay, that's for, that's for a, a, a small group of you. For another group of you, the dead end is what your family and friends is thinking about the path that you're taking, not realizing that the path that you're taking is feeding your soul, it's feeding your authentic self, like you're being your authentic self, you're expressing your truth, because I'm literally hearing, I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it, I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it, um sorry i had a mini jam sesh um ask for more you deserve it this is my know your worth and then add tax and shipping and handling if you need to um don't be afraid to ask your worth especially if it's coming to if i'm hearing especially if it's pertaining to a job um if you're applying for a job or you're interviewing for a job and you're like oh what do you how much like what what do you think would be a good enough number for you stop lowballing yourself the employer that see especially if it's like a startup company the employer is going to see your worth they already know your worth they just want to make sure that you know your worth this isn't, this isn't going to pertain for some of you. It's only going to pertain to a small few of you I'm hearing. But ask for what you deserve. Ask for it. The worst thing that they could do is say no. The ancestors pleased card. That's my card of you doing the work. You Not only are you venerating your ancestors, but you're feeding them your building a connection with them you may have just built an altar or you already have an altar and you just sit there every morning and just talk to them and just be in a place of gratitude with them and they are pleased <laughs> oh, excuse me um the shut up and listen card like i said for those of you who had just started using your voice Please make sure you are balancing that out with listening. Give a little, get a little. Make sure that all of your relationships are equal and balanced. Make sure reciprocity is a thing. Equal reciprocity. Don't give more than you take and don't take more than you give. All right. Step out of your comfort zone. That is the North No, This is also pertaining to the ask for more. You deserve it. You're comfortable. Like, I, I feel like for some of you, um, the reason why you're comfortable with asking for less is because you don't realize how much you've grown, how much, like, and, and, it, and it's starting. And I, I, I think I take that back that you're not realizing it. The reason why you're so uncomfortable with settling is because and we're not asking for what you deserve is because you realize you're working you realize you deserve more it's time to release negativity this full moon because i am recording this the night of the 5th february 5th this full moon is in leo so you could be feeling that energy the leo rolls over in a child um creativity so a lot of things from your childhood could be stirring up, could be coming up. Uh, also, the Leo energy for you, Cancers, may be calling you to stick up for yourself. To stand up for yourself. 
Uh, your dreams need a practical plan for moving towards, especially if for those of you who are wanting to start your own business. Um, some of you need to sit down with someone who can actually help you structure it out so you won't be dwelling in the octopus energy like or running with a chicken with your head cut off um if you do need someone to sit if you need someone to help sit down with you and structure your business i have a I have a few links in the bio below of people that have helped me or who are helping me structure my business and they are amazing and they are more than likely to help you Oh, they are more than happy to help you, sorry, structure yours. All right, I am going to pull just a few of my cards for my cancers. All right, message we have for cancers. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mercury. I'm only going to pull two maybe depending on yeah two or three let's see which is do we have for cancer sun moon rising venus and or mercury for the weeks of february 6th to february 20th messages do we have for cancer sun moon rising venus and mercury All right, we have Blackberry Adaptation and Fern Growth. And one more. Thank you. We have Cattail Build. All right. The, I feel like the Adaptation card is more so towards the Vulture card where it's learning. You're learning how to be flexible. You're learning how to be either like bamboo or either like a weeping willow. I love weeping willows. I've, I've, I've loved weeping, weeping willows ever since I watched Pocahontas. Um, but you're learning how to just flow with the breeze and go with the flow, but also um, when you're adaptable, when you can change your perspective about things, it shift, uh, it's like a superpower, it becomes a superpower. Where, like, in any situation, you can tap into that energy and just shift and just shift. And, like, <laughs> I'm literally, for those of you who watch Friends, I'm literally hear, hearing pivot, pivot. So, because you guys are learning how to be adaptable and learning to tap into that energy, it's going to become a superpower for you guys. With Fern, growth again. It's with it's the same. It, I feel like fern goes with the butterfly, and fern goes with the golden egg. You guys are growing and overcoming, and literally using your self love to fertilize yourself. To I feel like it's like a you're on this. I'm seeing like I'm hearing like you're on this trajectory of like unstoppableness. Like, I'm hearing, like, you're going to be, I got to be unstoppable. I, um, again, with the cat tail card, the build card, it, this more so go, coincides with the full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. So, get with somebody. Build, uh, create that business plan and just build so you won't be in the octopus energy. So, you won't be so scatterbrained. So, you won't be so bogged down. And so you won't be stressed out. When you have a plan, when you have a clear-cut plan for your business and for your life or for your day, like, you won't be stressed out. There, there is no stressing out. There is no being overwhelmed. All right, Cancer, that is your bi-weekly reading. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, comment. I love interacting with you guys, even if it's to say hello. But yeah, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment. All right, see ya.